All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. Today we have a special one. This is a device from uh, AGM Mobile, and it is the AGM X6 series. And so this is a 5G device that they brought out here with Android 14. Uh, and it's got a side mounted fingerprint reader on it, facial recognition. Uh, you've got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside and a lot more. So this thing has a 16 megapixel front camera. It is full 5G. Uh, it supports dual nano SIMs, which is really nice. It has a 6.7 inch full HD plus display. You can see 1080 by 2460. It is IP68, 69, and 810. Yeah, so this is pretty nice. And it's running Android 14. This is the box that it comes in. This has 128 gigs of storage and eight gigs of RAM. So this is a pretty, pretty nice setup here. We're going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. Get ready for a great surprise, folks. This is a this. This is just take a look. Boom. Look at how beautiful that is. In here, you just got a SIM tray tool and a manual inside of here. Look at how beautiful this is. I mean, come on. You got your charging brick, your charging cable, and that's pretty much it. So I'm not going to bore you with that. Let's pop this open here. Now, at first glance, you would probably think this is a case, but it is not. This is, in fact, the phone. This was a great idea. And this is how it looks. I mean, they did a phenomenal job on this hardware. You can't get phones like this in the U.S. anymore because not that I ever could. Probably I haven't seen too many phones in the U.S. like this. The U.S. will offer you a skin and this is the actual device. This is clean. Furthermore, it's drop tested and rated for military standards. So the entire phone is grippy, like all these edges right here is all grip where you would normally use a case. You don't have to with this phone. That's how beast mode it is. So let's walk around the phone real quick and they'll, they will get into the software or whatever. But this is the actual phone. This is the transparent version. So you've got all this area up here. That's all textured again, textured on all the corners and everything. You can see all the internals there. This is the real internals, which is very sweet. Uh, and it is a 5,000 mAh our battery that you're looking at right there. So on the top here, you can see there's a SIM tray on this side of the phone. You can see there's a power button that's textured and you got this metal band that runs along here. Then on the bottom, you've got something that's super ancient, but very functional. The headphone jack, the type C and the speaker out. And then on this side, you've got the uh, fingerprint reader. And uh, and I think this no, this might be the side key. Yeah, this is this is the um, I'm sorry, because this is the power key. This is a side key where you can set it to customize, customize to whatever function you want. So my bad on that. Then you got the volume rocker and then that doubles as a fingerprint reader. So the phone is on. This is what it looks like. I powered it on a little bit. So it's got NFC. Um, it is loaded to the gills with things that are just like you can't find stuff like this, a beautiful looking phone like this and a more functional phone like this. Uh, in the United States at these prices. So I have a link in the description. This phone is like under 300 bucks or something like that. It looks good. It runs 5G uh, and it's going to, it feels phenomenal, man. So let's get in here uh, and let's see if I can just get into the settings here. I'll definitely have to test this on visible wireless. I don't know if it'll work. Let me log in here. And just like that, I'm in. So I wanted to just hurry up and get into the device to show you exactly um, what it's working with. It's so crazy seeing the on-screen buttons down there. But you can see the bottom there is moving just to let you know, hey, you can swipe up and get into the actual software as well. So let's swipe up here. You can see I'm looking for any bloatware or anything like that, anything I would consider bloatware. And there's absolutely none. This is just a stock Android device. So let's go into settings and let's see if it's actually running um, Android 14. System updates, it's checking. And there's a slight overlay um, on this thing. But let's go to about here. And let's go down to the software 
Android 14. There we go. So it's on the Android 14, but it's on May security patch. So hopefully in the, the Google Play App Store will update once I sign in and everything. Uh, but yeah, it looks like um, it is running Android 14. So while we're in here, let me go ahead and see if I can adjust and show the yep, battery percentage. All right. And we're going to go give it a quick rundown in a second here. But just looking at the device itself, man, this is a beautiful setup here. So let's go ahead and long press. Look at this. This is really nice. Um, so we've got a lot of whole screen rotation. Uh, you know what I'm looking for? Because I see five across the bottom here but I don't see five there. So it might be that overlay in that skin, but we'll dig into that in a little bit, but let's go to wallpaper and styles and see if it's down there because if, if this is Android 14, um, you got themed icons. Yeah, I don't see it down there. So their overlay kind of takes it, but let's go ahead and get down here to settings. Once again, let's see if we can do gestures. Oh, definitely got to turn on dark theme. I definitely, I don't think I can deal with those, uh, <laughs> these buttons down here. Uh, let me get gestures turned on. There we go. Now, here is the device. Wow. Let's marvel at this hardware real quick and I'll set up the fingerprint reader Gosh, this is so beautiful, man. This is a beautiful looking device altogether. Let's get into settings here. It's weird that the settings icon isn't themed. It should be. <laughs> that, that's strange. Uh, but uh, it is not. All right, let's check out the fingerprint reader. Uh, let's see. Screen lock. Swipe. We'll set this. And we'll do uh, pin. Let's do that same little default one that I use for everything and then we'll do this and then we'll do face and finger let's do finger see how well this works Yeah, this is a long fingerprint setup. I'm doing it real time so you can see. All right, so that's done. Now let's set up, um, let's check the fingerprint reader real quick. Works good, okay. Yeah, that's good. Let's go into face real quick. And this is just a quick, quick look at this device, man. I mean, this is a, a beautiful phone. And so we'll have to test to see if it actually functions as well as it looks. Let's set up face. That was quick. Now let's go, uh, let's do face. Yep, that is fast. Oh, I think I hit the thing. Let's try it again. Face, where you at? Did I turn off face? <laughs> All right, let's see here. That, that facial recognition definitely works fast. Unlock your phone using your face, yeah. A fingerprint, face at it, yeah. Well, it is fast. Uh, and that is... A good thing. So this is a, a, a basically a, a affordable Android phone from AGM. Uh, I'm gonna put it through the paces and see how I like it, um, and uh, we'll tell you what I think about this. Let's go into camera video real quick just to see the resolution it can do. So it, it, the highest it records is 1080p. That kind of sucks because this is a. I mean, but this is a an affordable phone, but Still, for the price, I think they could have thrown four, four, four K recording in there. I don't. It's definitely probably the processor inside, but, uh, but yeah. So you've only got 
um, 1080p recording. It's kind of a strike for that. You've got photos with auto HDR. You got a 50 megapixel shot, night shot, and more. What you got in here? You just have fast and F. Okay. Yeah. So camera, you know, camera seems not to be the strong suit for this, but we have to check it out because, you know, I'm big on camera quality. But that's just a quick overview and brief look at this beautiful phone from AGM Mobile. And I've got other stuff from AGM Mobile. I'm going to show you their tablet as well. So if you haven't seen that video, be on the lookout for it if it's not already up. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoy another basic, affordable Android phone that looks like it costs $1,000, uh, but it's really like 300 bucks. So I'll leave a link in the description. You'll see this is available uh, coming up really soon in August. Depending on when you're watching this, it's available. You can hit the link and purchase. Uh, well, you can buy it now. Uh, I think the, the I think they might be backlogged a little bit. That's probably why the date keeps moving. Is next shipment? I think it's like August 14th or something like that. It says August 10th. Uh, so I think they're not backlogged. I just think where it's shipping from. That's what's going to take so long. So after recording this video, if I were to buy it now, I'd have it in seven days basically. So it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is a beautiful 5G Android 14. Affordable, stylish, rugged. We got to think about those cameras. I'll, I'll get into those cameras in a little bit, but uh, you can pick this one up with the link in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.